The Adventures of Marco Polo. And to help us to understand about this brand new exciting show, coming to Branson this fall is Pam Critchfield. And she is with the White House Theater, and always a pleasure, Pam, to see you when I'm here in Branson. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's always fun to see you. I want to do this justice, and so you're going to have to fill us in. And we also want to remind our friends at the very beginning of our time here is to go to the website and actually see video trailer to give you a little bit of glimpse into what you're going to see this fall in The Adventures of Marco Polo through the eyes of an explorer. It's really an innovative story and tale to put to a stage performance in that Marco Polo was, he journaled his whole trip and he was gone from Italy, from Venice for 20 years traveling China. And he journaled the entire time. And so books have been written about his adventures. And back in the time, many people did not believe them because he described things that were so grandiose that they could not even imagine. And so you take that story and you say, okay, we want to tell that on a stage. Well, what do you need first? Well, we need a lot of performers because it's a big tale. And so we have 60 performers from five countries in the world that are the cast, that make up the cast, 14 of which are master craft acrobats. We have magic in the show, a magician in the show. So it's really a a really diverse cast. And then the guys who were developing it said, well, how are we going to show him traveling from Italy to Mongolia? to the inner parts of China Road, China Silk Road. And so they invested in a state-of-the-art 2,000 square feet of LED screens that go from ceiling to floor through our, that's our whole backstage. And so it takes you on this journey that's amazing as you're seeing the show. Pam, this is from the stage and from those who brought us the legends of Kung Fu the show who is, has wrapped up now here in Branson's moved on, I believe, in Russia. Yeah, they're on their way to Russia. They just finished in India, and they had, you know, they get rave reviews worldwide. And the company that actually bought the theater that I represent, they have all kinds of productions. And what they're hoping to do is to bring great big productions, massive productions, from their company to the American audiences, and they fell in love with Branson. You show me a little clip of the trailer before we came into the studio here, and I was just blown away, uh, you know, by the the set, the the costume, the orchestration, the class. I mean, all what you would expect, but even beyond what you would expect from a, a production at the White House Theater here in Branson. I tell you, I, I'm a lover of Broadway, and whenever I get a chance to go to New York and go to Broadway shows, I go. I've never seen anything that holds a candle to what is going to be on this stage in Branson. It is truly amazing. I would encourage everyone to go to the website, which is Theater. Dot com. You can watch that same trailer I showed you. And it's really cool when you go on the website, you can also see the team back in Beijing as they were designing costumes. And there's always already 60 different costumes. The costume changes are going to be massive as well. Well, as you mentioned, and, and one of the things I like about this is there's a story here. You know, a lot of times when you go to a show, you, you, you know, it's, it's, inter- it's entertainment and it's fun. And, and, and this show is all of that. It's fun, you know, it's entertaining, but there's a storyline to it which really captivates the audience. It's, you know, the, the really neat thing about this story, and I have read, I have become a, um, somewhat of an expert on this, the tales of Marco Polo. I've read three books since it was announced that we were going to go that direction, and I've consulted on some parts of the script. Um, it's a story of historical magnitude, and Americans love history. We've really gotten into history in the last few years, which is a really cool thing. So it's, the, it's a history lesson in a way, because what he discovered was very historical, and the journey was historical. But he falls in love when he's there. And so it's got a love story. And there's the adventure of the chase of 
you know, defending the kingdoms and, and all of those things. So it's got something for virtually every age. I think it's going to be really a perfect fit for Branson. And I will tell you, Byron, I would encourage your listeners to call now, get on the website. They can buy their tickets on the website or call the box office. We are getting a lot of reservations. And right now, the show, it's due to open August 9th, and it goes through November 3rd. And so it's a limited engagement. Now, depending on um, what the company decides, if they're going to bring in something new or bring Marco Polo back, all I can tell you is from August 9th to November 3rd, those tickets are moving fast for individuals and groups and family reunions. People are going to be talking about this show from all over. And I think it's going to, it's, it's going to be something that people will go, I got to go back and see it again. It's going to be so big and so magnificent. And it's something that I think parents are going to think, this, what a great way for my kid to learn some history and, and it's entertaining and, and the technology, it's, it's like 1271 AD meets a 3D on stage production. <laughs> I love it. That's imagination. It is. It's going to be, it's going to be great. And I can't wait to see it again. The adventures of Marco Polo at the White House Theater here in Branson. Uh, what's that web address? It's um, www.thewhitehousetheater, spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E, dot com. And that makes your life really easy. You can watch the video. You can see the costuming. You can see some of the set's designs and really get excited about it. Buy your tickets online. And I do want to also say this year we have offered a show dinner show combo so they can even come and have a three-course chinese meal prior to seeing marco polo and it's a great meal it makes it really delicious makes it a complete evening when you come to branson and see marco polo hey pam critchfield thank you so much for sharing something new in branson that our friends can come listen bot radio network listeners don't forget now branson is the place to be with your family you know throughout the year there's always something new as i mentioned before you say well i've been to branson i've done that thing no you haven't because it's always changing and marco polo is just a prime example of something going to be great here in branson you know i i'm so excited and i love bot radio i'm a listener and i can't tell you the people that have come that have been loyal bot radio listeners and the groups of we've had groups of women that meet for Bible studies that came and saw Legend of Kung Fu last year that were listening to bot radio. Awesome. So we are excited. This is our first major radio interview and we're excited to launch it with bot radio. Well, I'm glad to be here with you, Pam. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, you stopping by.